started reading another textbook. It's called The Symmetry of Things. It's been wonderful. And the first part of the book is just about all the different ways that a pattern on a flat surface can be symmetric. Interestingly, it turns out that in Minecraft, there's only 12 ways that a floor or wall pattern could be symmetric with itself. So the idea for this video came from Dr. Plasma's channel because he pointed out in one of his shorts that there's a lot of comprehensive glazed terracotta pattern lists that obviously aren't comprehensive. I made examples of each of those 12 ways right here. Now, obviously you can make these look different by swapping out different glazed terracotta blocks or by taking like the repeating part of the pattern and scaling it up so it's like 50 blocks large. But at the end of the day, the mathematical relationships between the symmetries of your floor or wall pattern are going to be one of these 12 types. Why there's 12, I don't think I could explain in one video. So this is going to be a series. My goal being that by the end, you'll understand why there's 12 of these patterns, but also, you know, how you could build these up and use them in your own builds. So we're not going to build up to all 12 patterns today, but we are going to look at all the different ways that the surface texture of a single block can be symmetric. Specifically in Minecraft, there's only eight ways that the surface texture of a block or a small set of blocks could be symmetric. For visualization here, whenever a surface texture of a block has some kind of reflective symmetry, like you could imagine flipping the texture over and it would look the same, kind of like most glazed terracotta blocks have. Uh, I'm going to use a red line to signify that. It's like, you know, redstone lamps and all these blocks have lots of reflective symmetries. In fact, they have uh, four lines of reflective symmetry. And then in addition to reflective symmetry, you can also have a rotational symmetry. So this just means that you have some kind of surface texture where if you spin it uh, 90 degrees or 180, it'll look the same as when you started. Glazed terracotta, another super easy example. This thing, you know, if you reflect it, it would look different because it would look like the little, I don't know, they're almost kind of look like snitches from Harry Potter. So if you were to reflect this, the snitches would be circling each other counterclockwise instead of clockwise, and it wouldn't look the same. But you can spin it 90 degrees, and it'll look exactly the same. And then, of course, there's, you know, blocks that just don't have any kind of symmetry on their surface whatsoever. So there's a couple glazed terracotta like this, um, but like, you know, the cartography table, a lot of terrain textures are like this. For each one of these symmetry categories, I tried to find blocks that just naturally had that kind of symmetry and ones that approximately had that kind of symmetry. So here's the family of blocks that have like a reflective symmetry uh, right across their middle. You know, here's some blocks that have that. So you know, the arrow, for the most part, you flip it over, looks the same. Same with these trap doors and the deep slate. The loom, kind of? I don't think any blocks in Minecraft actually have perfect symmetry because there's slight variations in the texture. Even on uh, concrete, there's slight variations. You know, and then some of these approximately symmetric blocks, like the Observer, it's a little lighter on one side and a little darker on the other. So it's kind of a gray area where you draw the line uh, before you start excluding some kinds of these blocks as having that kind of symmetry. One of the really interesting blocks is the Twisting Vines because it does have a reflective symmetry. So you can imagine if there was a line going from bottom to top here and you reflected the Twisting Vines, it'd look the same. But what's super funny is when you turn to a different side of it, the line along which it's reflectively symmetric moves. And so some of these blocks actually have different kinds of symmetry depending on which angle you view them from. Another really fun one is the Skulk Sensor because it actually has uh, like up and down and left to right reflective symmetry at each point in its uh, animation texture. And then at first for these three types of symmetry, so 90 degree rotation, 180 degree rotation, and uh, just diagonal reflective symmetry, I didn't think there was any blocks that had that kind of symmetry with their appearance, um, but I was wrong for two of them. So the chain is oddly the only block I think I found, you know, just kind of scrolling through the menu here, that has diagonal only reflective symmetry. And similarly, the azalea shrub here, you can see it kind of has like three leaf dangles on each side, and the leftmost one is the longest. And that texture is the same on all four sides. So the azalea has, what is that? 90 degree rotational symmetry. So I think 180 degree rotational symmetry was the only type that I wasn't able to find with a single block. But you know, if you have a two by two section, it's pretty easy to make it. And then one last thing that kind of makes 
symmetric patterns in Minecraft a little tricky is that many blocks, uh, you can't change the direction they're facing. So the pumpkin actually kind of has a diagonal reflective symmetry because its stem like points in a specific direction. Uh, but no matter which direction you place the pumpkin from, it's facing you know exactly the same way but the carved pumpkin is not the same so it will change its stems direction based on where you're facing when you place the block down another interesting example of this is actually the cartography table and the loom cartography table same direction everywhere you place it loom on the other hand will change to categorize everything perfectly would just get so complicated because a lot of blocks have perfect symmetry in some ways and like approximate symmetry in others for instance the mangrove trap door uh, because there's a little bit of a handle highlight down here it's only perfectly symmetric uh, across like top to bottom but if it weren't for that handle the texture would be symmetric diagonally and horizontally as well same with the oak trap door there's just a little bit of highlighting around the four holes here and two of the edges are just a little bit darker than the other two interestingly what also seems to set apart the glazed terracotta blocks and the textures they can make is that they're just about the only blocks in the game that have uh, perfect and obvious diagonal symmetry i think prior to them a curved rail was just about the only option that's it for part one my name's chris thanks for watching